Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a new pen from Lamy and if you follow Fountain Pen World you'll know what this pen is. Well it's also in the, the video description so no big surprises there. It is the Lamy Ideos or Ideos or however you want to call it. This is how it comes packaged, well in Australia. Simple box, a little bit of foam holding it in place and then under a ribbon there. And uh, this is the pen. So what makes this pen unique is its teardrop shape. Very interesting and, uh, you know, there's a few features on this that are really quite fun. So I'm going to talk about the parts and features. We'll do a writing sample. I'll do a size comparison and all that kind of stuff and then talk about some pros and cons. Okay, let's get started. So as I said, teardrop shape and that runs down the entire length of the pen. It's a flat cap. It's a little sort of like insert in the top there. We got a spring-loaded clip. It's very, very usable, um, which is nice. Uh, and that's sort of a more polished chrome. We get the branding on the pen just above that clip there. And then the cap snaps off and reveals a, yes, slick metal section, both fingerprints and slippery. The That sort of, uh, it, it, the, the pen right, remains straight through the end here, but we get an O-ring and some little like lugs to post the pen on. We'll talk a little bit more about that later, shall we? Um, and the section's interesting because it starts out at this teardrop and then works its way to a more sort of standard round uh, end on the section there. Liberate posts, or caps, sorry. And then you get the nib. Now, while this is compatible with the uh, standard Lamy Z50 nib series, this uh, is a nib that was made originally for the Ion. Uh, it's got that sort of more um, bowed out, con, you know, convex shape to it, as opposed to the concave nib like the standard Lamy nib. Um, it writes the same. I have this in an extra fine. It is available in extra fine through to broad is what I've seen online. And really, that's the pen. You unscrew the section there to reveal the where the cartridge or converter goes. It does not come with, in Australia at least, it does not come with a converter. It does come with a cartridge though, so at least that's something I suppose. And it's got these little you know, grooves and lugs and stuff and the same sort of apply in there. And uh, you load that onto there and then you snap it into place and it lines the teardrop up with the section. It's kind of cool, like it's a nice feature, I suppose, uh, on a pen that uh, has some interesting things and a couple of things I would like to talk a little bit more about later. The pen is made of metal entirely uh, and it's this sort of like palladium covered brass material um, which gives it a stability and a bit of weight which is quite nice. Uh, it's certainly a solid pen and uh, you know you don't feel like it's sort of going to break in your hand or anything like that. Size comparison here with another Lamy. This is, of course, the standard Safari. Uh, it's a little longer than the Safari when it is uh, capped. When it is uncapped, it actually comes in slightly shorter, uh, but it does make up for it when it is posted, which, as you can see, it posts quite long. Um, this is one of those things about this pen that I find it's just a little too long when it is uh, when it's posted. I think it sort of feels a bit... Like, the balance is okay, but it just sort of feels a little bit long in the hand. Now, if I just... While I've got them here, you can see the difference between the standard uh, Z50 nib and then the nib that comes on the uh, on the uh, Idios here or on the Ion. Uh, it's a... It's a... It fit like I could swap these around. Uh, it's just got that... As opposed to that concave uh, sort of line, it's got the more convex sort of line through to the tipping. The Lamy Idios is 143 millimetres uh, when it's capped, 129 when it is uncapped, which is how I prefer to write with it. I think it's actually quite long enough. Uh, or 183 when it is posted, if I can line that up to post it. Why is that not posting? There we go, 183. Uh, the section go is about uh, uh, 10 to 11 millimetres, and that is, I think, also because of the teardrop shape, uh, which sort of functions in a way like a triangular grip, uh, giving you a place to sort of hold the pen and really feel where that goes. The weight of the pen in total is 27 grams, 17 in the body and 10 in the cap. So when you do post it, you are putting a little bit of weight, and a lot of that is that sort of clip mechanism. Uh, you're putting that on the back and you, you can feel it, uh, but to me it just feels just too just a touch too long. I think it's one of the problems with a lot of these pens that uh, post onto like the end like that as opposed to like into the barrel uh, is that you do get a considerable length on the pen. Time for a writing sample now with the Lamy Idea, so I'm not really sure how to say it. That's how I say it. This is the extra fine, as I said, it is a steel nib. 
uh, proprietary to Lamy, as is the cartridge converter system, just so you're aware. Uh, then we have the ink here is Noodler's Zhivago, which is an ink I really like. Lovely, rich, dark green. Let's see some writing. Now some quick writing. Okay, so you can see it keeps up nicely. But something that did happen, and I'm not sure if it would be noticeable on the camera, is that my fingers were slipping right down to the end. It's a relatively warm day here in Melbourne, so, you know, my thing, you know, a little bit humid, and you can feel that very slick section. Reverse writing is okay. This is, as I said, this is an extra fine to start with, but uh, Lamy extra fine is not always super uh, fine. Um, it's not a flex nib, don't try and bump it out, push it out or anything. Wetness is okay, especially for an extra fine. Um, it writes perfectly well. I quite enjoy actually how it feels on the page and how the pen actually like, you know, is reliable and consistent. Um, I just have a few thoughts on other bits and pieces. Let's talk some pros and cons now for the Lamy Idios here. Cons, okay, a huh. couple of things. Firstly, the engineering, particularly on the end here where it posts, I think is super ugly. Having a visible like O-ring there and these little lugs and that kind of stuff, it's just not an attractive uh, design element. I understand to get this minimalist sleek line, you have to sort of have this sunken little section to post on, but having the engineering that visible, I just don't love. Um, I also think that the slick, metal chrome section is just disappointing. Like Lamy must listen to the feedback they get from their customers. They must know that a lot of people really do not like slick metal sections and yet they have a number of pens that make use of this kind of section. The, you know, you get fingerprints on it, it's slippery, it's just, whether you like the triangular grip sort of feel or not, it's just not great. The other issue I have with this pen, and I'm going to talk about the price here, is that in Australia, this pen retails for 320 Australian dollars from you know one major retailer. Uh, you can get it in the US for um, 139 MSRP, uh, but or down to about 111 US. Um, and I think some countries do sell this with a converter, but in Australia, this pen does not retail with a converter. It is a 320 Australian dollar pen. This pen is just like only, what, $70 less than a Lamy 2000 in Australia. This is ridiculous, not coming with a converter. Yeah, sure, it's only another 10 or $11, but come on, like, I, I, it, 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 I, it leaves me speechless. A 320 Australian dollar pen without a converter. Like, anyway. Let's talk about some pros, shall we? Um, the main pros I have are I actually quite like the teardrop. I think it's nice and unique. It gives a nice element and also having the clip sort of sit on that flat surface at the top of it there, really nice. I like that a lot. Um, it says something that's interesting, it's different and Lamy's tried to do something different here. It was designed by an, Aust uh, an Austrian company and uh, you know, they've done something interesting and that's great. The other thing I like is I like the way that this, this nib writes. It's extra fine, but it's consistent, it's smooth enough. It does the job, as you would expect. Uh, but a 320 Australian dollar pen with a steel Lamy nib and no converter, I think this is way out of its price range. In the US, that 111 price point, which sort of would go up to what, like 170 Australian versus 320 Australian, like that conversion rate does not add up. So. Um, get this from wherever you can get it. If that's uh, not in Australia, if you're if you're Australian and you don't get it from Australia, I will not blame you. I would do the same. Anyway, this was the Lamy Idios uh, fountain pen. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch, let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.